More than 42 million Americans under tropical storm warnings as Hillary moves north. The heavy rainfall causing flooding in many areas. The storm made landfall in Baja, California, Mexico on Sunday. Video shows flooded streets, the water moving swiftly through the town of Santa Rosalia, Mexico. In Los Angeles, several lanes of the 101 freeway near Sherman Oaks flooded. Some people, like this truck driver, even taking chances and just roaming right through the floodwaters. The slick roads making driving very dangerous, leading to crashes. Crashes. Ahead of the storm, authorities urged people on Catalina Island to evacuate. Multiple flash flood warnings in effect across the area. Continues to come down here in Cathedral City. These tropical rains in these desert towns just don't match. ABC's Zareen Shaw is nearby in Palm Springs where they're also seeing flooding tonight. The soil here in Palm Springs and the desert southwest does not absorb water very well. So in extreme rainfall events like this, dangerous flash flooding can develop even faster, sending massive amounts of rain and debris flowing. And then in the midst of the storm, these lights swang as Los Angeles was hit by a 5.1 magnitude earthquake. Chief, I'm really sorry to interrupt you right now. Uh, our, are... our studio is shaking right now, so not only are we dealing with a tropical storm, but it appears we are now dealing with an earthquake. This is the first time we've had a magnitude 5 since 1932 in exactly this location. There were no reports of any damage or injuries from the quake and experts say it was not related to the severe weather. Nearly a month after the deadly floods affected India's Himachal Pradesh, the area is once again affected by landslides. These visuals paint a scary story of what's going on in that area. Take a look. A railway track hanging mid-air after a landslide washed away soil beneath it. And it's not out of a movie. This is the reality of the Indian state of Himachal Pradesh. The shocking visuals are from a railway line between Summer Hill and Jutog railway stations in Shimla region. The 30-foot stretch of the UNESCO heritage site, the Kalka Shimla railway track, has been badly hit as incessant rains wreak havoc. Officials say they haven't seen anything like this before on the 114-year-old track. The heritage line has suffered massive damage across its 96-kilometer route this monsoon. Heavy rains virtually through the week in Himachal Pradesh have triggered landslides, leaving key road routes blocked. At least 60 people have been killed as hillsides collapse, burying homes and triggering flash floods. In another incident at Summer Hill, a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Shiva collapsed. More than a dozen were killed, many are still missing. Moving to Uttarakhand state. This video has gone viral. Amid incessant rains, the building of the prestigious Dehradun Defense College collapses like a house of cards. <laughs> Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand states suffered widespread damage last month too due to the heavy downpour. Rains have been recorded at 45% and 18% above normal. Now Pakistan is being ravaged by a water surge in the Satluj River. Its National Disaster Management Authority has started rescue efforts and issued flood alerts. This is the worst deluge to hit the cash-strap nation in the last 35 years. According to reports, more than 10,000 people have been evacuated from Pakistan's Punjab province. According to the Punjab Irrigation Department, the water level in the Sutlej River has exceeded 278,000 kusaks. As a consequence, the local authorities have also banned bathing in rivers and streams. Meanwhile, the Punjab administration expressed that all measures are being taken to prevent losses from the floods. The Irrigation Department has said that the water entered nearby villages and destroyed thousands of acres of crops. Earlier this week, the Pakistan government instructed the local administration 
to announce the flood situation on public address systems installed in mosques. Now, the Punjab Provincial Disaster Management Authority says that continuous reinforcements are being provided to rescue officials. But this is not a first for Pakistan. This is the second instance of water levels rising in the river near the Punjab province. Last month, the water levels in the Ravi River crossed 185,000 kuseks. A group of jade miners stand over a vast open pit, the valley below filled by torrential rain. Miners searching for the precious stone along the banks. Warn them it's going to fall, say those above. The steep walls seem to be shifting, a cascade of rocks. Then the whole hillside collapses. As it hits the water, a tsunami wave, sweeping away everything in its path. From the other side of the valley, workers try to point out survivors, tiny specks swirling around in the muddy whirlpools as more of the hill slides into the water. We were at the spot where the large water wave struck. It was a huge wave. We were able to flee the area by running. That's the only reason we survived. Rescuers have been struggling for days to recover bodies from the site. Very few survived the initial landslide. Heavy rains hampering the rescue effort in this remote part of northern Myanmar. Boats on the reservoir only able to drag the murky waters with hooks.